So I'm going to start off, start with uh, my library guide and look for Scopus and click on Scopus. Once there, you'll be taken to the Scopus page. So what I recommend doing is for your topic that you're looking for, I would add a field, a search field, which would be the affiliation field. And there, you're going to put Syracuse University. So this will look for any uh, resources that has Syracuse University affiliated with it. So, and I'm going to start with the topic that you, um, the general topic that you talked about, which was SRAM. So I go ahead and I go and do a search. And what's nice about the affiliation is uh, you will come across the authors. Uh, and what I like to do is uh, click on perhaps maybe, for instance, the um, authors that are affiliated with Syracuse University that could be your professor. So I am going to, instead of clicking on the actual um, resources, I'm going to click on the author's name, which um, is a professor in the engineering and electrical engineering department. Um, and you'll notice here that it has his affiliation here. You can click on the author's info and it, it will state um, currently where they are located, what they've worked in the past. So that's a nice um, way of seeing kind of like their background um, to include subject areas. Um, but what you're going to want to focus in on when you're doing your research on a specific uh, professor that you want to um, do research with, what's nice here is, is the analytics that I was talking about, metrics, for instance. You will see more documents, perhaps, than uh, what's listed in experts. But what I also like here is the preprints. So these are um, preprints are basically documents that have not been uh, accepted yet for publication, but they're available uh, for you to access and read. So it's kind of like looking at what the research they're working on currently. Um, so you'll notice here for this professor, he has. Um, a few uh, preprints that are available. Um, so I would highly recommend looking through the preprints. Um, also co-authors. The other thing that is important that I think will help you uh, to establish is also maybe looking at some of the research grants that they have been awarded. Um, so you get a feel for uh, the kind of research that they're doing. Um, so I think this is a, also a great way, not just using experts, but also using uh, Scopus because it has a lot of analytics so that you can find more about the uh, professor that you might be interested in working with and hopefully when you approach them uh, you will have a better kind of understanding or rather a better you'll have better knowledge of what um, research they're putting out there and that might be uh, relevant to what you want to research as well so uh, hopefully this helps um, thank you